Hello there and welcome to video 6 in the series on Introduction to LaTeX. In this video, we're going to step back from mathematics and look at how to format text. Specifically, we're going to see how to make text boldface, italicized, put into small caps, underlined, in a special style called typewriter style, and we're going to learn how to handle quotation marks, both single and double quotes. Here's an empty LaTeX document template with some text already in it. Notice that everything we do in this screencast will be done in text mode, and there is nothing done in math mode. In the first sentence, let's make the words bold text actually bold. So we're going to put the cursor in front of where we want to start, and type slash T-E-X-T-B-F, that stands for text boldface, then open a curly brace, and then close a curly brace where we want the bold face to stop. In other words, we're using the command textbf and then giving the text we want to change as an argument to that command, encased in curly braces as usual. And this is very similar to how the remaining text form formatting commands will work. Let's compile this to make sure it did what we wanted. And we see that the text is now bold. To italicize text, there are actually two commands. One is slash textit for text italics. I type that and close the text I want in curly braces and compile. The other command is slash EMPH for emphasized. And again, I type that and close the text that I want to change in curly braces and compile. As you can see, there's very little difference between the two. To put text in small caps, we type slash TEXTSC and close the text in curly braces. To underline, I'm going to use the command slash underline and then enclose the text I want to change in curly braces. And there's a special style called typewriter that's good for making text look like computer commands or file names. The command is slash TEXT T T and that's how that looks. Finally, this is not a text formatting issue as such, but using quotation marks in LaTeX can be a little tricky. For using single quotes, we can't just use the single quote key or apostrophe key that's next to the return both times or else it looks like this. Instead, to open a single quotation, I use the quote mark that's in the top left of the keyboard. To close the quote, use the apostrophe. Likewise, to use double quotation marks, I need to open them by using the quote key in the top left of the keyboard twice, and then close them by using the usual double quote key. So that's your quick tour through text formatting. Thanks for watching.